What happens next? What's in store for Tamil Nadu and for India and what are the larger ramifications? Well, first up, Dinakaran camp likely to challenge the verdict in Supreme Court. Though TTV Dinakaran personally has said that that is not his opinion, but he will consult all the 18 MLAs and then decide. A lot of the MLAs are already lodged in that resort in Kutralam. We have to see whether they come down to Chennai or does he make his way there and do they have these discussions. Bipoles imminent in the next uh, six months in 20 constituencies because two bipoles were deferred because of inclement weather. These 18 MLAs disqualified. So we'll have 20 constituencies that will see bipoles. The bipoles likely to be held along with the 2019 Lok Sabha polls. Now, is there a possibility that Tamil Nadu like Telangana calls for early polls and you have all of Tamil Nadu voting not just for the 234 constituencies but also for the Lok Sabha. We'll have to see how things unfold. Bipoles in the 2019 is equal to local factors may take a back seat and it could be on national factors and national mood. Narendra Modi and the Modi wave and the Modi Sarkar at the center could be a factor. Is that advantage AIADMK or is it going to backfire for the AIADMK? We have to see in terms of the might and muscle and how it works. But plenty of possibilities that are there. But the political scenario heats up. Now you will see activity across political parties, especially these 20 constituencies.